in a world where, eh, never mind. <laughs> <laughs> Welcome back to Hive Mind Unlimited. Rotten Tomatoes, a snobby little website where people write reviews of movies. We're gonna hear a movie and try to guess what the score is. Closest to the score gets the point. But today we're lucky enough to be joined by local thespian, letterboxed influencer, and stay-at-home daughter, Eden Burke. Welcome to the show. Thank you. It's, it's take your girlfriend to work day. <laughs> <laughs> Riley, maybe next year. <laughs> oh yeah, sorry. <laughs> yeah, maybe next year, pal. <laughs> oh. Definitely not this year though. Yeah, only a few months left. Yeah, but. I mean, if you met someone now and they were on the show before the end of the year, it'd be like too soon. But it's cuffing season. <laughs> oh shit. Absolutely. And he looks great in a sweater. Oh, thanks. Kind of turned it around there. Yeah, <laughs> that was nice. It started off mean. But... Patreon and Cameo are linked in the description if you want to support us. Let's get into these movies. Grant, would you give us that first movie, please? The Social Network. Ooh, Ooh. Zuckerberg's biopic. Sorkin. Jesse Eisenberg. The Winklevoss twins. Just one though, played by. Justin Timberlake. <laughs> <laughs> Napster, the yeah. Napster twins. Yeah. Right? They say Army Hammer is so good that he could play two people. Yeah. And I think he proved us right yeah. in this film. What if I told you Army Hammer had another person inside of him? <laughs> <laughs> Isn't it funny to think that Facebook started as just a way to rate hot girls at Harvard? Isn't every app start that way? LinkedIn. Yeah. LinkedIn. <laughs> Who's the hottest at my work? <laughs> Three, two, one. I put 88%. 87. I put 87%. <laughs> Is 96%. Wow. Riley, oh, out the gates. <laughs> I have seen like three movies total and all they do is watch movies. If I win this game, it will be the upset of a century. Your first <laughs> point, man, chill out. And I'm already $100,000 in debt from film school, so this loss is, it's gonna be devastating. Yes. Mm -hmm. Where'd you go to school again? I went to New York University Tisch School of the Art. Uh, Some would say it doesn't get better than that. Some <laughs> Not you. I was in ground lane, so. 96% <laughs> seems a little that high. That is very high. But they love Sorkin, and he pays them too. I mean, copious amounts of money to jack up that score. Really? Rotten Tomatoes? There's like foul play going on? It's Anybody like, can be bought. What's the audience score? 87%. <laughs> <laughs> you guys both guessed 87% of it, the exact audience score. It speaks audience for score. itself. I guess you guys are the audience. Grant, what's that next movie? Interstellar. Oh. Ooh, Interstellar. Matthew McConaughey. Merv! Timothy Chalamet. You wouldn't oh, even he's know the kid. You, yeah, you wouldn't even know he was there. That's yeah. true. He's the shit piss kid. I fucking hate his bone structure, man. I don't know what it is. He looks like he's like one of the robots in Iron Giant. Like he was like a kid robot. Feels like you could detach this part of his face from the rest of it. I think he's gotten a lot of work done. Timothy Chalamet? Yeah. Yeah. He's so young. I know, but if you look at like the timeline, his ass is like tripled in size. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> and he won't stop face titting these photos. Just as like a bad oh. perpetuating a, an ideal, mm -hmm. you know, male form. Oh no, it's tough out here. Trust neither me. of you would be able to achieve. <laughs> in your lifetime, so. <laughs> Period, huh? <laughs> Purr. Purr on him, Timmy. <laughs> God, them like riding around in that pickup truck though, through those cornfields and shit in that movie yeah. is fucking awesome. Yeah, I love that it's like the end of farming. Can you imagine if you only had to eat corn for the rest of your life? You'd probably fucking love it. Yeah, I'd be all right. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I love me some corn. You can do a lot with it. Cream it. Pop it. Pop it. Pop it. Pop it. <laughs> Twist it. I bop well, it. Never had it like what? that. What? Cha cha now, y'all. <laughs> <laughs> Three, two, one. 91. 92. 90. 73%. Wow. <laughs> Booyah. Oh my God. 73? <laughs> this That's movie, an upset. Yeah, this movie is better than The Social Network. Uh, Absolutely. 100%. Like for sure. Absolutely better. It's way more fun to watch. This yeah. is fucking embarrassing. 73? They need to justify that. I know, like, I need an explanation. Yeah. What's the audience wow. score on that? Audience score is 86%. Okay. Still lower than That's I thought. still yeah. very low. That's crazy. I, they probably think it's like too long. They don't make it to the ending. They don't understand it because they're too stupid. You know yeah. what I mean? They confuse it with gravity. Gravity. Stay the hell away from McConaughey. There's something sexy about when he's younger than his daughter. Next. Next. There's something sexy about a father who's younger than his kid. You know what I mean? Yikes. No one else? Never thought that. I'm glad they didn't Back to the Future it, though. I'm glad they didn't hook uh, up. Oh, uh, yeah. I don't know. <laughs> Do they hook up? I'm See, just saying, scene, I don't the know. The scene kind of ends abruptly. It's we don't true. know what happened mm. in, that, in that hospital room. It's kind of like Inception. You don't know if the top stops or whatever, <laughs> you know? <laughs> 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 
All right, Grant, what's the next one? Black Adam. What the hell is this? This is the new Dwayne, yeah. Dwayne the Rock Johnson. DC superhero. Okay. Set up for failure. And his name's Black Adam? <laughs> yes. Is it like an Adam and Eve thing? Like It's not biblical, no. It's no. not so, biblical. Okay, no. I just the name, you know? I think he is just the rock in it. Yeah. I think, I think uh, that's okay. what people came for, and I think that's what they got. Yeah. What's his superpower? Strength, probably. <laughs> it's probably yeah. strength. Like you like punch Looking. a car a mile or something. Yeah. I will probably go my whole life and never see this. There's a lot of things I thought I'd go my whole life without seeing. And boy, oh boy, was I wrong. Inflation, interest rates at 10%. Gas prices this high. The US dollar being worth more than the euro. A president falling asleep talking. Shit, the Eagles being 8 0. <laughs> Donovan Mitchell in a Cavs jersey. Never thought I'd see that. Yep. My own cousin die in my own arms. Jesus <laughs> Christ. Yeah. Crystal Pepsi coming back. I never thought I'd see that. <laughs> I For didn't real? Yeah, no, yeah, it's not. Yeah. My it's uncle not. dying in my own arms. Oh, shit, your the uncle day too. after my cousin died in my yeah. own arms. That yeah, like that. seems like a coincidence. Uh-huh. Yeah. Flaming hot Mountain Dew. I mean, why are they, what are they selling out yeah, here? You know I what I mean? Know. Yeah, my aunt dying oh, in my own arms. Jesus. <laughs> the day after my uncle died, subsequently after my cousin died. Subsequently. Wow. So whatever. <laughs> like they were really have you, told, the have you told anyone about this? I'm telling you guys right now. This doesn't seem like the right setting. No, mm. maybe the police dill station. pickle flavored Lay's. Yeah, right. Those weird are flavor. Yeah, yep, yeah. yep. Yeah. Yeah. My grandpa dying in my own arms. <laughs> the day after my aunt died in my own arms, which is the day after my uncle died in my own arms, which is the day after my cousin died in my own arms. Yeah. You just gotta chalk it up to bad luck. Yeah, at that point, it's just a, <laughs> that's a rough week, Riley. Yeah, it was a, it was a tough one, you know. Electric cars. Wow. Yeah, <laughs> never saw those. Never coming. Never saw those coming. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Uh huh. That's, That's it? it? <laughs> That's all? You're done? That's all the crazy stuff? My infant son died no! in my arms. The day after my grandpa died in my arms was the day after my aunt died in my own arms was the day after my uncle died in my own arms was the day after my cousin died in his own arms. Wow. Well, you're extremely well adjusted for all the grief that oh. you've suffered in yeah. Yeah. sometimes. And luckily I have a big wingspan. I was holding a lot of people that fifth day. <laughs> that fifth day was like, oh my God. <laughs> Why were they piling on? Well, I mean, you can understand it'd be tough to- To let go. Yeah, to let go. Yeah. At least the last one was a baby. Oh yeah. yeah. I kind of fit yeah. right on top. It was <laughs> almost like the cherry on top of, <laughs> of like like family, family death Sunday. God, that's morbid. Actually, well, it all happened Monday through Friday, so yeah. Sunday, but. Yeah. Tough a lot of weekend. time to watch the game. Yeah, hey, still got to catch the Eagles. You know I mean? <laughs> Three, two, one. 19%. 28. 52. It is 40%. Bang, bang, bang. Oh, 40%. You guys actually. are exactly in the middle. Yeah. You guys are both 12 Tiebreaker. away. Tiebreaker, let's go. Oh, yeah, we <laughs> could guess go? the audience get, score. Get oh, in here. you guessed the audience oh, score. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. All right, so they're both 12 away from the correct answer. So now, whichever of these scores is closest to the audience score gets the point. Okay. Unless you'd like to change. You can no, Yeah, you can change. Oh. Go ahead. I'm good. I bet you the audience kind of fucks with it more than the critics. You know he can't change. All right. What is the audience score, Grant? 90%. <laughs> wow, baby! Are, are you kidding me? That's the most famous guy in America. <laughs> I'm sick of, like, memes infiltrating yeah. what is supposed to be an art form. <laughs> oh, geez, to be taken, wait, what the To only be taken seriously and graded as such. Wait, this is where? ridiculous, and now it's affecting my life. Where did you and get that? Get what? The soapbox. <laughs> Four years of film school, Riley. BFA, for anybody wondering. BFA. Bad fucking actor. <laughs> <laughs> All right, let's see if Eden can get a fucking point. <laughs> Ferris Bueller's big day off. Wow. Bueller's Finally. big day off. Oh. So if you haven't seen the first two episodes, this is what Graydon uses as kind of his uh, his benchmark. His, gauge. Yeah. his benchmark for whether a movie is truly great. It has to be better than Ferris Bueller's Big Day Off. Yes. And, and so far, have you been able to find a film that can can do that for you? Boogie Nights. Boogie Nights. Okay. Boogie Nights was way better. And honestly, the 1973 Wicker Man with Christopher Lee. Oh, okay. Who y'all might know as Sauron. No. I do not. I don't know what that means. Lord of the Rings. Lord of the Rings, I'm a hoarder of things. Who's the little shit ass in this? What's his name? Michael Frankie? What? Michael Frankie. Matthew Who's Broderick. Matthew Broderick. Simba. Thank you. He played Simba? Oh, he's the voice yeah. of Simba, yeah. Aw. Mm-hmm. Matt. Three, two, one. 83. 70. 83%. It is 81%. <sighs> <sighs> Gotta go to the audience score. Would you? Well, we have, we have to change to. it. Yes, yeah, so we have to guess the audience score. If we guess the same audience score, this is gonna be <laughs> wild. Three, two, one. Ninety-six. Ninety-four. 
It is 92%. Yay, 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 yay! Damn. It's wow. so funny because, like, he really based his whole film buff personality on trying to get me to like him. And that's For funny sure. now because, like, I am a film buff. I've kind of become the man. I just thought you were faking it. Yeah, but I've become the man you've always dreamed of, that kind of thing. Sure. You're, that's what you're going to say? <laughs> yeah, I, I guess. It's... You know what they say? <laughs> it's always good to slightly change your personality for someone yes. that you are attracted to. Oh, I thought yeah. it was like change your entire like moral compass and right. like your values yeah. and maybe even convert religions if that's what it requires, which I'm, right. I'm going to ask you eventually. Shalom, shalom, brother. <laughs> <laughs> Next one, Grant. <laughs> Taxi driver. Oh, yeah. This is literally like my life. <laughs> you are just like him, for real. I am him. Hey, do that, do that De Niro impression you've been showing me. Ready? Hold on, let me try and understand this. I'm a little... <laughs> I'm funny? Funny how? <laughs> funny like I amuse you? Funny like a clown? It's good, right? Pretty decent. Yeah. Yeah, that's De Niro in Taxi Driver. <laughs> <laughs> this movie was like for everyone that like attaches their personality to the Joker yeah. now. Yeah. This is like pre-Joker. Totally. Joker. Incel, shooter, insane man alone in his apartment. Once again, shout out to Sam Aarons who picked all the movies for this. His letterbox is linked in the description. This Go follow so him. Fun. He is a letterboxed influencer mm -hmm. and uh, an inspiration to us all. Truly. But also your letterboxed and your letterbox will be linked in the description. So Eden's letterboxed and Graydon's. Three, two, one. Oh, 100. 88. 93. It is 96%. Graydon takes it by one percent. You get it by one point. Oh my I gosh. I am on fire. <laughs> I am literally burning up the set right now. This man is on fire. <laughs> Audience score for Taxi Driver? 93%. Wow, so you got right on the money with that, huh? It's the second time I've guessed the audience score. Dead nuts to death. <laughs> It's the second time I've Sweet. guessed that score. Dead nuts to death. <laughs> That's pretty cool, man. Yeah. All right, uh, what's the next movie, Grant? Pokemon, the first movie. Yes! Oh my god, finally something that I've seen. You saw the first two. I thought that was an interesting start. Oh, Maybe. you're right. I have seen Social Network, and yeah. I've seen Interstellar, and I've seen Ferris Bueller's Big Day Off. That's right. This is like the highest percentage of the movies I've seen. I didn't even know they made this. When did this come out? Pokemon 2000. 1998. Oh, okay, my bad. <laughs> well, then I definitely didn't 98. see it. <laughs> Big Mewtwo villain one in this one. All the all the cryogenic tanks they're yeah. keeping Mewtwo in. It's a scary. You get all the evil creatures. They turns them all like evil army. They have to fight against themselves. It's like a very dark film, like very dark. <laughs> like the themes they're playing with. I mean, it was almost like fucked up to show yeah. us to kids. Yeah, you know? biblical wow. undertones. Oh, really? I had an original movie poster in my childhood bedroom that is just like so sad that it's gotten lost. Oh, those posters are so cool. Oh, like, it, was, it was Mew. Yeah, it was Mew like looking all dark and fucking sexy. You know what I mean? Oh yeah, yeah you'd have said before that he turns you on a little It's bit. thighs. It's all, all in the thighs, thighs, thighs baby. Yeah. Yeah. Built like an absolute brick shit house. Yeah. That thing. <laughs> like fuck. I think this movie brought me to tears when I was a kid too. Yes. Yeah, it like, scared me, made me cry a little bit. Do you want to see my impression of Ash Ketchum from the Pokemon movie? Oh, I'd love to. So I'm funny to you? <laughs> funny how? Like, like a clown? <laughs> oh, give me a second, I'm a little... There you go. <laughs> nice. yeah, that's good. Pikachu! <laughs> I choose you! <laughs> Pika Pika, why are you always talking like that? Bulbasaur, get fucked! <laughs> 3, 2, 1. 91. 72. 69. It is 16 percent. They trounced that son of a bitch. <laughs> 16 don't seem fair. It doesn't matter. You still got the fucking point. Anymore. Like what are you telling doing? me? Black Adam's better than the first Pokemon movie? <laughs> like what happened? <laughs> what happened? Like to did that? something happen in the movie that I missed? Like is there like a whole like part of the timeline is just missing? Like yeah. Pikachu's super anti-Semitic. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's, it's crazy problematic. We just missed it. Mewtwo's like clearly Jewish. <laughs> Charizard, I think Kyrie Irving might be right. <laughs> What's that next goddamn movie? American Psycho. Ooh, American Psycho. Mm. What? The opinion on this movie has changed throughout the years. Is that true? Yes. Yeah. Was it received poorly at first? I believe so. It seems like one of those movies that like grew to be a bit of a cult classic. Which is it very did this. typical woman director. Everyone was like running to shit on it. And mm -hmm. My AP going psycho. Yeah. <laughs> like Michael. Okay. 3, 2, 1. 72. 72. 81. 68 percent. Riley. Let's do this. Today's I'm going to change my answer for. Yeah, you. audience score. Okay. Scars remind us that the past is real. 
Tear my heart open just to feel. Stop colluding. Oh, sorry. Who'd you vote for in the last presidential election, Eden? Tiana Trump. Let's go. Let's go. Turn up. <laughs> Let's go, twin. Turn up fire. It's my treacherous twin right there. I wasn't old enough to vote in the last election. Yeah, me either. <laughs> I voted for McCain. <laughs> <laughs> Three, two, one. 75. 86. It is 85%. Finally, you got a point. Sweet, sweet, sweet victory. Oh, sorry. Can I get two points? Nope. That's not how it works. You can write two on your board. Just don't I'd do this. To. Well, I mean, we'll keep the real scores. Whatever. She's our guest. Don't, don't do that. You were never this nice to any of our guests. In fact, you were super rude to all of our guests. Yeah, but she's a sweet sweetie. I know. That's your girlfriend. Yeah. I get that. <laughs> but like... Nepotism. It's about the film industry. It all makes sense. Okay, Grant, I'd like another, please. Supersize me. Oh. Oh, Great. the documentary about McChickens. <laughs> Let's go. <laughs> uh, I saw this one in health class. Nah, you remember ninth grade health class? Yeah. yeah. That was awesome. Fuck this movie, though. Why? I feel like if this movie wasn't ever made, we'd still have the supersize. Oh, 100%. You know what I mean? It's This was like a fucking schmear campaign on big sodas. Yeah. And I want a big soda. <laughs> Yesterday, at the food court, in the mall, I got Chinese food, and they gave me a soda this big. And I said, Jesus Christ, that's nice. Yeah. Yeah, you get a Trenta at Starbucks. Damn right, I'd get a bigger one if I could. I have thought this about that movie, though. What they think was gonna happen? Like, you're not right. supposed to eat fast food every meal for every day. The part that made me laugh was, like, the girlfriend watching him the entire time who was, like, a vegan, like, fat-phobic girl, and she was just, like, terrified yeah. the entire time. But I honestly, I watched it and was like, it's not as bad as I thought. Like, <laughs> yeah, this dude's eating McDonald's every meal for every day for a month. That is zero nutrition of any other other kind the whole time. Of course, he's gonna feel like shit and look like shit. Yeah. But it's not as bad as I thought. Three, two, one. 61%. 88. 90%. It is 92%. <laughs> this is my house. This game is mine. I'll tell you what doesn't need supersizing. Is ego? Sure. Graham, what's the next film? Monsters University. Oh, awesome. Oh my gosh, I had the distinct privilege of seeing this movie a few months before it came out. Oh, do tell. I was just in Cincinnati and there was a guy walking down the street and he I kind of knew him and he came up to me and he was like, hey, we're doing a screening of Monsters University. It's 90% done. It's tonight. 90% done? Yeah, it's not done yet. The CGI isn't rendered. Everyone's still wearing them. <laughs> it was all people. It was all people, yeah. which was interesting. Buscemi was in it. Um, no, he was just like, hey, it's almost like they're doing a screening of it. Do you want to want a ticket? And I was like, yeah. And he gave me like five tickets and I went with all my friends. That's awesome. It was it was sweet. And they, it said it had a like disclaimer. It was like, nobody filmed this, blah, blah, blah. blah. It's not done yet. We're 90% done with the movie. We just want to get feedback. Focus groups. Yeah. I loved that movie. I thought it was awesome. One of the rare cases where like when a sequel comes out, like, like 20 years later because, you know, it has like still that strong audience. It mm -hmm. was a solid movie. You mm -hmm. know, last week I won a Mike Wazowski lookalike contest. <laughs> really? Yeah, I didn't even sign up for it either. I was just walking down the street and I said, uh, get over here. I did not know how to feel. I mean, it was cool that I won something, but... It's, it's kind like, of a bummer when you don't dress up for something and then you win the lookalike contest. Yeah. yeah. Three, two, one. 93. 69. 77. It is 80%. Do you guys bring notebooks today? Maybe I could help you. You know what I mean? I don't, I'm done kind of rubbing it in and I'm just trying to like educate at this point. What was the audience score? 81%. So 80 and 81? 80 and 81. Huh. Those were good years of my life. 80 and 81. <laughs> yeah. yeah. <laughs> Mm -hmm. I mean, my early 80s were really fun, too. Yeah. I did a lot of golf. I was hanging out with Paul Giamatti's dad. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, he's a good guy. Balthazar Giamatti. Yeah, he's cool. Yeah. Rest in peace. Yeah. Right. Balt, as we call him. Balt, yeah. I didn't drive by shooting. <laughs> he was trying to kill someone. Correct. Misfired the gun in the car. <laughs> really? Yeah, shot himself. <laughs> drive by shot himself. Bounced off the rearview mirror. <laughs> Bing! I was hanging out with Al Pacino's dad as well, like, during that time as well. Mm-hmm. Greg. <laughs> Greg Pacino. We were like gambling buddies and we would kind of like hit the town. We were really into cocktails too. We'd had a yeah. cocktail Instagram, but then we were running together where we'd get cocktails from like the best place. We'd say, give us what you think is your best cocktail. <laughs> yeah. And then we'd both write a review of it and put it on Instagram, me and Greg Pacino. And yeah, rest in peace. Greg yeah. Pacino died in a drive-by shooting. <laughs> He was trying to shoot somebody, uh, and he hit a telephone pole. Oh, uh, and it came back. Uh, yeah. 
No, no, he didn't. He, oh, with he the drove, car, yeah, with the car, not with the gun. <laughs> he he hit or, or with the bullet. He hit the telephone pole and it crunched him in half. Yeah, Grant, what is the next movie? <laughs> Twenty One Jump Street. Ooh, the original or the mm-hmm. first one? Okay, well, wait, no, the original with Jonah Hill or isn't that a reboot of an old thing though? It's too? an old TV, it's an old TV show. show. Old TV show. Okay, so Channing Tatum and Jonah Hill though is the one we're talking yes. about. Yes, God. That's sweet. Have you guys seen Channing Tatum's chest? Never. Really? No. Have you seen it? No. Grant, have you seen Channing I've Tatum's? Seen it, yeah. I mean, wow, right? It's great. Not a hair on it. Imagine the Greek mythological man, Hercules. Have you heard of him? Sure. Yeah, he's kind of Herculean, if you will. Oh, okay. The muscle definition seems fake. Oh. It's incredible. And it's, it's not, it's real. No, I believe it is real. It's yeah. all real? Yeah. Is That's there like a movie. movie I could go watch if I wanted to see? Funny you ask. Magic Mike. Huh. A ma- yeah. He plays a magician. No, like, no, no, no. No? Oh, yeah. wait, is it the, the one with the auto-tune? Like it makes you sing perfectly? Perfect, like the magic mic. No, no, no. <laughs> you know what? I'm not even going to spoil it for you guys. I'll run it red box tonight and you guys enjoy it. Oh, I'm excited. Oh, okay. Cool. Yeah. Hey. This movie's low key funny as fuck. It did age well for I, me. I think it's really funny. I think it is too. Is Dave Franco in it? He is. Yeah, that's what I thought. Mm-hmm. He's kind of a cute little son of a bitch too. Yeah, I agree. there's a lot of hot guys in this movie. Rock hard piece of ab on him as well. Okay, nice. <laughs> yeah. Whatever charm and talent was missing in the first the first one <laughs> went straight to him. Yeah. Yeah. His freak brother. Jesus Christ. Oh what a God. weirdo. What a I did like that time traveling JFK show. That was like one of the worst shows I've ever seen. <laughs> yeah, but I awful. liked I liked but it. But when I watched it when I was like 13, I was like, this is sick. Yeah, I liked it for whatever reason. I literally think it's probably the worst TV show I've seen all the way through. <laughs> like, actually. Did you watch it on his recommendation? Yeah. Yeah. No, I watched it with him. Yeah. Oh, it was fucking terrible. Yeah, it was bad. Kind of cool that Channing Tatum's in a witch house now, you know? Yeah, that is pretty awesome. He's got like a whole different vibe about him. He's got to start hanging out with Salem and Julia Fox and shit. I saw him repost snow strippers the other day. Really? Yeah. That's awesome. Yeah. It was him and Truey's shirtless listening to a snow stripper. So, three, two, one. 58. 54. 64. It is 85%. <laughs> they loved it. I think this can be the case with like a comedy that is like the reboot of an old show because there's so much nostalgia for the old show. So as long as they do it good enough sure, and they do it I any literally justice, no one who saw the like, movie was like, oh, I'm, I remember that show. Because like, a bunch of kids watching Jonah Hill and Channing Tatum. They don't care true. about a show from like the 50s or whatever. It came I out. recognize the nostalgia, but I just figured like anything that Jonah Hill was going to do, whether or not we think it's hilarious, the critics are going to be like, this fucking sucks. They shit on him? Well, old Jonah Hill, yeah. yeah. Jonah Hill comedy era was not, like, not, beloved. No. See, I thought he was on a heater back then. I mean, of course, yeah. that's what I'm saying. Like, Because that's it was for us. True. It was for the kids. You know homophobic people's favorite genre of music? Shoegaze. <laughs> All right, what's the next movie, Grant? The Great Gatsby. The new one or the Robert Redford one? The newest one with Leo in it. Um, this movie sucks. <laughs> you didn't like the new one? Not good. Shot by the person who did Moulin Rouge. Boz Lerman. Boz Lerman, who um, I like as a director. Well, he's... It's fun. Feels like he has a knife to my throat and he's telling me I want to have fun. Yeah. And that doesn't that, make me want to have... Fun. There's like a lot of rap music in this. A lot of rap music. Will I Am, Lana Del Rey. Mm-hmm. I love those rappers. You do. <laughs> <laughs> that was awesome. Three, two, one. Seventy-one. Forty-three. Forty-eight percent. It is exactly forty-eight <laughs> percent. That's unbelievable. <laughs> Did you give him the scores? Because that sounds like something he would ask for to impress Eden. I like, absolutely. Like he would ask you to do that. Yeah, I would totally do that. <laughs> you just made her kiss the ring. I didn't make her. That was on her own volition. I'll do it. I presented the ring and she she kissed. Grant, yeah, what's the next movie? I'm gonna guess spot on, but death on the balls. Garfield the movie. Is this the porno or the regular one? The porno. Oh, okay. Animated? Mix, I believe. Yeah, it's a mix. It's good. It's CGI Garfield, and, and he's hanging out with real people. Yeah. Now, here's the trick, though. The lasagna is real. So it was like a grown man on all fours, just like, <laughs> shown down. <laughs> no, that's that version that he's talking about. Oh, <laughs> right, right, right. You've yeah. shown me that. I guess. Yeah. I guess. Yeah. I keep that one on VHS, and it's titled 9-11 footage. 9-11 highlights. Yeah. <laughs> Have either of you seen this? I did when it first came out. This is some bullshit my dad rented and made me watch with my fucking step family. I was like, oh, it's fucking family night. I was like, shut the fuck up. Everybody here smells like piss. <laughs> Three, two, one. 44. 28. 31. 15%. 
Wow. <laughs> on a movie I've never seen, I don't see. know anything about. What's the audience score on this fucking feet fetish movie? 38%. <laughs> Must have been my fucking step family rating it. All right, let's okay, see, cool. uh, let's see what's popping with this next film. Last one, Train Spotting. Ooh. Yes. Ooh, Ending on movie. a high note. Love yeah. this movie. So happy. What? They got high in that movie. High note. Oh. <laughs> it took me all video, but I'm coming around. <laughs> the baby on the ceiling. The shit, shit, the shit, sheet, the shit, shit sheet. sheet. I just found out there's a second one of these that I'm gonna have to go yeah. investigate further. And it's like the same cast. They're just older and they get back on the juice. I don't know what the deal is. Mm. I haven't seen it. Yeah. <laughs> That's horrible. Yeah. Here's a question for you, Riley. Sure. How do you measure a horse? 525,600 races. What do you mean? What is, is, what is What it? metric do you use to measure the height or width of a horse? Oh, it's yeah. not in. There's your clue. Or centimeters, even. Yeah. It's not that. Horsepower? <laughs> <laughs> hmm. Honest, solid guess. Solid guess. It's yeah. hands. Hands? They measure horses in hands. Like human hands? Yeah. Yes. Every hand is different. It's just X amount of hands, tall and wide. See, but think about this: a jockey's hand. Oh, tiny. That's like the that's like the size of a bottle cap. Like <laughs> that's like it's, it's, there's no way for this to be like a cohesive system yeah. keeping track of the length of horse. Yeah. You know they measure horses in hands. Oh god. <laughs> They've seen the tape measure. Why are they still using hands? Humans, I mean, we use feet, but they're still using hands for horses. Final one. This has been fun as fuck. Yeah, it's a good time. All right, three, two, one. 86. 98. 98. It is 90 percent. Yeah, <laughs> bitch. <laughs> fuck y'all. <laughs> 10 to 2 to 2. <laughs> what an amazing score. I do have an extra one if you guys okay. want to. Yeah, let's yes, get please. it. Tiebreaker, me and Eden are going to do one more to break our second place tie. Space Jam. Wait, the original, like the one from the 90s? One with Michael. 96 Michael. Okay. And R. Kelly. Slam, jam, thank you ma'am. zip a dip a hip <laughs> That fucking song rocks. Uh-huh. I think about it every night and day. It's a shame what they did to Lola in the new one. Oh, How's come that? on, man. I mean, they took her ass. Yeah, but like, you know. A bunny can't have a big dumper. But can a bunny not have a big dumper and have it not be such a big talking point? Well, yeah, it's fine, but they started off dumper. And then they <laughs> rescinded dumper. Well, they're saying that heroin chic is in right now. Very. Everybody's losing the ass. Nobody wants the ass no more. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Get rid of those knockers. Nobody needs them. Reverse BBLing. Reverse yeah. BBLing, yeah. LBBing. LBBing. <laughs> Lose that big butt. Yep. That's what it stands for. <laughs> Three, two, one. One percent. Sixty-five. Forty-three right, percent. Eden takes it. I really thought it was going to be very low, and I did like a Price is Right sort of situation. But congratulations, Eden. Silver medal, second place. Thank you for being here. We appreciate it. Thank you for having me. Sorry you suck so bad. Yeah, I'm sorry for what I did to you. It's all right. I'll see you at home. Okay, see you at home. Yeah. <laughs> Are you picking the kids up, or am I? I don't want. I don't want to see them. Okay. <laughs> sure. <laughs> good luck with your your film career. Uh, gonna be tough with such a lack of knowledge, but either way, good luck out hey, there. You know what I mean? My parents are rich and famous, so yeah. I'll be Okay. <laughs> <laughs> all right, other than that, make sure you like the video, subscribe, all that did not I didn't say it at the beginning, and Graydon, leave these people with some advice to live or live their lives by. Everything you see in the movies is real and true. All right, this has been High Bun Unlimited. We'll see you in the next one. Bye, Eden's mom. Bye, Eden's Woo! mom. <laughs>